Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand what exactly is community, what are the different types of the communities, why do we use communities and how to enable it with the real time examples. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So first of all, let's look into what exactly are communities in Salesforce, right? Communities are nothing but we can consider it as a social platform. Okay, it's nothing but a platform Which is designed in order so that employees partners or even the customers can log in into it and do some kind of communication Right, let's consider with a real-time example. Okay, everybody I think so have used uber eats, right? So what usually happens is okay. There is uber eats company. Let's name it as UB Right, there's a customer at one end right let's say customer okay and let's say there is a delivery guy let's name it as d okay and uh, there is uh, one more kind of a person let's name it as the owner of the hotels right so for an example uber it's what it does is it brings the it brings the work from the hotels right so i'm going to name it as h hotels okay so now uber it's customer is a completely different thing that's fine okay but there's a delivery guy okay i think so name it as okay let's name it as delivery guy okay and there is one more hotel okay this is most important thing now let's say we are building a community for it okay for an example inside uber eats okay let's uh, consider it this way that inside uber eats there are two kinds of employees one is nothing but a permanent employee permanent employee like customer service right so for an example if you have problem with your photo what you do is you just go and call to the customer service of uber eats so the person at the other end is going to pick up the call okay and he is going to talk to you and he's going to fix your issue okay this one more way another way is nothing but let's say there's an issue with the app right it's not working fine it's not loading the orders or something like that so there's a developer right developer is nothing but who is going to actually work on this company right inside this company so he's going to work directly inside the company he's a customer or he can you can say he's a he's a standard employee right he's not uh, some partner or something like that he's a standard employee he's going to work 24 7 right with the company or 365 days throughout the year he's going to work with that company right? so these are the two different types uh, this this is one one of the kind of the employee customer service and developer okay what they can do is let's consider if they are using salesforce right a customer service guy can directly log in into Salesforce and can do all the stuff that they want not all the stuff but they will have some kind of access and they can directly log into customer service and can access the data of the customers right they can see which customer has done uh, which order at what time and all that stuff like it they can see multiple customers data at the one go itself right so we we have to give them the access to salesforce itself if we are using customer if you are using salesforce for uber eats we have to let them log into salesforce itself there is no other way around so that they can access all the data that is needed or they can do all the operations and automations whatever is needed right so that's the one more way developer of course he has to build all the stuff and so he has to log into salesforce itself but he will be logged in more as an admin rather than uh, customer service guy so this is one of the kind of employee another kind of employee is nothing but a delivery guy uh, spelling is incorrect but fine so delivery guy okay he's one of the employee now if you have looked into the uber eats policy uh, or any other company policy not only uber eats or any other company policy what they do is this employees or the delivery are nothing but the partner they call them the partner even the hotel is considered as a partner right hotel and uber eats are partners okay they are not the uh, or they can be said as contractor right the uh, hotel is a contractor the the delivery guy is also contractor they can also work this delivery guy can also work with some another company for uh, delivering they can also work with uh, let's say delivery okay there is one more company which works in this uh, on in the uh, logistic portion but uh, delivery guy can also work with the delivery company okay and he can also work with uber eats right so he's nothing but a partner or you can call him as a a, a a contractor right he's going to work for certain time or certain on certain conditions or or at certain times and then he's going to go away he's not like a normal employee right like the customer service works with the shift but the delivery guy whenever he opens it opens app he can start working even same thing goes for the hotel person right the one who's operating things at hotel 
ओके ही इज ऑल्सो नॉट एलिजिबल लाइक फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल इफ ही ओपन दिस होटल टूडे ही कैन एक्टिवेट एंड ओपन इज ऐप एंड गेट दी ऑर्डर्स बट दैट्स नॉट द सेम विद द डेवलपर और कस्टमर सर्विस दे हैव टू सेट फ्रॉम मंडे टू फ्राइडे बट द होटल पर्सन एंड डिलीवरी वेन एवर दे हैव टाइम दे जस्ट ओपन दी ऐप दे गेट डिलीवरी ऑर्डर्स एंड दे स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन इट सो दीज आर नथिंग बट कॉन्ट्रेक्टर्स ओके दे आर वर्किंग बेस्ड ऑन देयर ओन कंडीशन now if they are working based on their own condition based on their own terms they cannot directly give them access to the main org itself i cannot let them access directly to salesforce itself right because they are contractor they are not completely working developers right so i cannot give them directly access to the salesforce org instead of that what we do is we build a separate ui for them right a hotel person will have a separate ui and also the uh, the delivery guy is going to have that separate ui okay which will have limited access and all that stuff but they will have a separate ui itself okay so that's what we will use communities for okay customer service and developer can directly log into salesforce and can start doing the actions but on the other hand i cannot let the delivery guy and the hotel person log into salesforce itself because it consists of all the data of a uh, customer and it can uh, if uh, small errors can lead to a very big problem so instead of that what we can do is we can just give them a separate ui so they just don't log into salesforce itself but they log into that separate ui and can do their operations what they want so what's going to happen is that let's say uber it gets an order okay they tell it to the hotel that is the partner and then hotel tells it to the delivery guy or the delivery guy picks up from the hotel and serves it to the customer right so delivery guy and hotel are nothing but the partner so they will need a separate ui now to in order to build a separate ui in salesforce itself i cannot create one more salesforce org and can connect this to salesforce org instead we can use communities communities nothing but will be acting as a website okay communities over here okay let's consider it this way so this is our salesforce org let's say okay and this is communities okay now these are completely connected to each other okay if i create record over here record also will can can get created over here itself okay if i update the record over communities it can get updated to salesforce itself i don't need to separately write the code so to create data or update data uh, if something is updated in community to, uh, to get updated in salesforce itself so they are completely interrelated to each other okay so that's what the communities is communities that i can say is a small extension to salesforce which acts as a website okay so basically it's nothing but a website directly connected to our salesforce crm okay so this is where the community is now when do we use communities right when what exactly is the point where we use communities so if you are going to build a delivery app where um, not only your uh, actual employees but the partners okay for an example if i was building a uh, Uh, uh let's say a system uh, where all the people who are managing the petrol pump okay or gas station whoever are going to operate this okay i need to provide the portal for them right so for in that cases i will have one one of my salesforce org where customer service is going to log in the person who is running the gas station will have a separate ui the person who is delivering the petrol he will have a separate ui okay so that's what it is that's how i, I will the, in that cases i will use the communities okay where i have to where i will have uh, my my partners uh, a separate way if i have to provide a separate way completely separate way to my partners okay that's where we use communities the next thing is how to enable the communities so to enable the communities just go to the setups and inside the quick find box what you can do is uh, if you have already enabled this uh, enable it and you can search with all sites and you will be able to find something but if you are not enabled it okay you have to go to digital experience first go to settings and just enable the digital experience over here so communities are nothing but digital experience so if someone tells you do you know digital experience it's same they are talking about communities so i have enable the digital experience and let's save it okay now as soon as your digital experience has been enabled okay or uh, the enabling of digital experience done now you will be in quick find box only after that you will be able to find out all sites okay you will be able to find out all sites over here 
from here you can create your own custom portal or own custom website which will be directly hosted by salesforce itself you can also redirect it to a particular website but it will be directly hosted by the salesforce itself and you don't need to pay anything for that for now for the developer org but i think so for further additions you need to do it but this is where you can create the uh, your own site so this is all about communities in the next video we are going to see how to create the communities uh, what kind of navigation is there inside the communities where to do what and all other stuff so, and also we are going to create a sample website in this videos in the series of the videos if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel